My dog once, I used to have an Alsatian, and she came to wake me up one morning, which was unusual. Normally she'd wait for me to wake up. She came and she put her head under the duvet and pulled it off me like that. And I said, what are you doing? And she went to the bedroom door and looked at me. Did that. <laughs> and then I got her up and went, and she went to the kitchen door, still looking at me, and led me to a water bowl, which was by the back door, and she's looking at it and looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at it and there was a frog in it. <laughs> Sweet. And it must have come in the back door like the <laughs> night before and then just found itself in the kitchen. <laughs> and then it got in the water bowl and sat there all night with its eyes. <laughs> with this huge dog's head. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I'm, I'm going to go and get Alan. This is <laughs> The thing I love about that is the idea of the relationship of you and your dog being yeah. on quite a level. Yeah. Come and have a look at this, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> The thing was, I had a walled garden. I don't know how the frogs got in the garden, but they did at the same time every year.